So I'll now turn it over to Ramana, the Director of Product Management at Oracle, to give us a free brief demo of this product. I'm logged in as a campus executive, and I'm looking at the executive overview dashboard. Out of the box, we have packaged four dashboards, and uh, we have followed a role-based approach to delivering these dashboards. For example, as a director of admissions, you might be interested in looking at admissions and recruiting. And as a person managing student records, you might be interested in looking at that particular specific content. And you could also have the role of a campus executive or a president of the institution or any other analyst or a cross-functional role that requires access across all the information uh, pertaining to campus. So for such a role, you, you, you try to make sure that you combine information across admissions, student records, student financials. And maybe if you are, if you also want to provide them access to your financial data or your spend data, you could also do that by uh, linking this particular dashboard with the spend classification or, or maybe the budgets versus actuals analysis on financials. And we're looking at this specific dashboard of the executive uh, overview. I'll point out both the new features of OBIE that Kumar was referring to earlier, and also uh, walk you through a particular example of how analysis could be supported. So one of the new features in OBIE 11.1.7 is the performance styles, and we have used that particular ability to include some of the key metrics. And the next new feature is freeze frame headers. So when I scroll down, I still don't lose context of the a selection criteria, criteria or any other information that might be relevant to the entire dashboard page. This is also something new in OBIE. For each of the dashboards, we have included a description for the pages, as is the practice with BI apps. So when you look at the dashboard page, you have the details of the description. And let's take an example that you're logged in as a campus executive and the first report and, the, and you see this particular overview page and what catches your attention is the declining numbers of uh, in the in your admission funnel trend. You can see that from 2011 onwards to 2013 the trend is declining and to look into this particular matter in this particular uh, academic year of 2013 you can go ahead and click on this 2013 and it will show you the breakup by term because we have a drill from academic year to term. The data is not the best at this time, so we have data for only one term, but uh, assuming that uh, you had data for multiple terms, you would see the breakup of the admission funnel trends for that particular academic year broken up by terms. Well, this gives you a specific information for one year, and it tells you how the application counts and the prospect counts have moved. It still does not answer all your questions. And you can use the breadcrumb navigation to go back to where you have started and come back to the overview page. So if you want to dig in further into the uh, admissions area, you have the option of clicking on the admissions and recruiting dashboard. And as an executive with access to the entire content, you can go ahead and, and navigate to the admissions and recruiting dashboard. The number of applications is what is causing you concern. And you can go to the application analysis tab, which is specific to this particular area, and get some data points on how the applications have performed. We have restricted out of the box the data to top 10 programs, etc., so just so that we have a control on the number of data points. You can look at the top 10 programs for this particular academic year and see how they are performing. For the longer term analysis, you can look at the trends. And when you look at a trend for, uh, for a period of time, what you can realize is that there are three major programs which were, uh, which were drawing maximum number of applications from 2010 onwards. But then as, as the years progress, you see the numbers declining. You see that it's happening across the board for business, dual degree in law and business, for bachelors of engineering, and bachelors of commerce. And it's a consistent decline across the board. 
so this further confirms your uh, theory that while well, uh, that while well, we see the declining trends the number of applications are decreasing across the board so that's probably one of the causes of concern and you might want to go back and see that are we getting enough prospects and before you go there you have the option of looking at other details too in terms of how we are performing with respect to recruiters how are the recruiters performing is there any breakup in the in the male versus female applications are we getting good number of international students as we used to earlier all those things are possible we have included both the current state as well as the trend reports so if, once you come to a conclusion that the number of applications is declining you might want to step back a little bit and see how are we doing on the prospects you can go back to the recruitment page and here we have the analysis of prospect trend and here we can conclude that not only are the applications lesser but probably even the prospect trend is coming down over a period of time and again you can drill on a particular year 2013 that we are in and once we get to a little more level of detail now we want to have more information so in this kind of a scenario what we have done is we have provided for a lot of additional selection criteria the institution and the academic year get defaulted but uh, you might want to choose a different external or a recruitment center and filter apply the necessary filters and get to the level of details in this particular case we are, we have the uh, we have the details of the recruiter along with the recruitment status what you can see here is that there are a lot of them on inquiry and prospect and they have not been converted into applicants so and this is the second level of low detail if you keep in mind in the previous step we were just looking at the trends now once once we drill down into a particular year we are going to the next level of detail there's a good amount of selection criteria and you could uh, make your selection and the next step is if you want to if you go to click on this 28 it gives you the details of all the 28 applicants so this is an example where you see a trend which starts with a 6 or 7 year period then you drill down into the details next level of details and again at that particular point you don't want to be flooded with all the information there might be a few areas you might want to check that particular ability is provided through the selection criteria and towards the end when you actually drill down you get to the lowest level of detail which is the actual detail of the prospect so, so this alludes to what uh, Kumar was talking earlier in the presentation in terms of having a strategic measure then an operational and actionable while we have not implemented action links out of the box one of the options that is available to you as a customer is to implement action links and actually using the single sign on capabilities navigate into people soft application and see what is happening on this individual prospect why is why is it still in a particular status why is it how long has it been in acquiring so we are, while we are keeping it at a sufficiently high level we are also providing the ability to drill down and actually navigate to the source system and come back uh, navigate into the source system take any corrective action or identify or confirm a problem and decide on the next course of action essentially this is one business case you might have number of other things to look at all those are possible the other alternative scenario could be that you could start from an admissions funnel look at the details and then come back into the details of the applications and prospects so this is one example and this could work across all the other dashboards too so the other thing that i wanted to mention was also the student self service dashboard where essentially if you secure data by a student you'll be able to look at the individual reports individual content data uh, as a student and see what are the gpas that you are getting uh, what what is the billing what is the due etc thank you ramana for that uh, demo um will everybody uh, is probably submitting questions so we'll take those questions during our q&a session just to follow this slide um final takeaway really um this is a brand new application content to support student information analytics requirements it's fully integrated and conformed with oracle bi applications it has a new architecture with this new release in 11117